Welcome back on our Friday morning here. Time to jumpstart at the Berwyn shops that are now open for their third year. Homegrown project there given a dozen small businesses the chance to show off their work at one neat location. Pretty cool spot too. Already led to a serious boost for businesses that have participated in past years. We've got Jackie Kostick live there now. Jackie, aesthetically, this is such a cute spot. I'm excited to hear more about the businesses there too. I know. <laughs> Yeah, Audrina, I loved when you when you teased it and you mentioned how colorful the shops are. Yes, because when you drive down the street and see uh, and see the shops, you just are so drawn to them because they're so cute. So I'm here with Kendra Shaw this morning from the Berwyn Development Corporation, and it was really uh, your team, Kendra, that came up with the idea for these shops that are such a boost to entrepreneurs, right? Correct. So we're here at 6931 Roosevelt Road here in Berwyn, and we're just here to help businesses grow, see what they want to do, give them the training they need to do it. I love it. What, what is the experience like for businesses who do get selected actually by the community? It's not even your team that selects them, but the community. Uh, what's the experience like for those businesses? So we do put them through a rigorous application process. The community gets to test the products almost like a mini pitch day. And from that day, the, the 12 that you see here are picked, but they're only here every Friday, Saturday and Sunday until December. So it's really an intense accelerator to see if they want to graduate into their own storefront. I love it. And it's a good opportunity for shoppers because there's a lot of uh, diverse businesses selling a lot of different products and uh, you can grab a tote bag and do some shopping. So we're going to head into uh, Katrina's shop, which is called Missouri Culture. Uh, so Katrina, good morning to you. Good morning. How are you? Uh, doing really well, uh, juggling this tote bag, apparently. Uh, what are the products that you sell in here? Um, I have intention-based candles as well as dessert candles, body butters, uh, my aromatic sprays, and sage and some crystals. I love it. Um, what is the story behind uh, the name Missouri Culture and why you wanted to start this business? I know you started it early in the pandemic. Yes, I started my business in 2020. Um, with the name particularly Missouri, it means uh, beautiful and well in Swahili. Um, I am a Reiki practitioner, so it all kind of ties in together in the grand scheme of things. Yeah. Um, I'm all about bringing wellness um, as well as um, passion and abundance and, and bringing them into people's home with my candles and other products. I, I love that. Um, congratulations to you, Katrina. You. Uh, what is your call to people out there to come and visit your shop? You guys got to come in. We have great vendors here. We have great products. And then you got to come for the dessert candles. You do. And honestly, Audrina, I can I can smell that they are so good, but I love that there's really something for everyone between the dessert candles, the cocktail candles for the summer, which I feel like would make a great gift, and the intention candles. If you're if you're writing out some affirmations and having a, a moment of reflection, perfect for that. So Katrina, thank you for your time. Audrina, back to you. You know, the, the cocktail candles, those look like real drinks. I'm very impressed by how <laughs> colorful and cool they are. Jackie, thank you. So we are highlighting a retail incubator in Berwyn. It's back for its third season, and it's really there to support emerging entrepreneurs and artisans and makers. So good to give them a boost. Let's go to CBS 2's Jackie Kostek live at the Berwyn Shops, a homegrown project, they call it. Jackie, I'm loving just the versatility and all the different options there. Audrina, this really is a special place. And if you are somebody who, well, I know that you personally are somebody who loves to shop local, uh, but if anybody who is at home right now also loves to shop local, this is such a great opportunity to come and check out. Uh, they've got the coffee shop. They've got uh, a couple different bakery options. They've got uh, a candle shop, a pet boutique, just really something for everyone and a great opportunity to come in and just uh, support these entrepreneurs and these small businesses. We're now inside of uh, four star handcrafted coffee and I'm here with Chris and Griselda Camacho who are the owners of this company good morning to you guys good morning good morning good morning, good morning. yes okay so tell me how you got started in, in 2021 with four star handcrafted coffee great great question so Griselda and I spent some time um, in Australia a couple years back and we just noticed that there was a different coffee culture there so when you go meet with friends you drink a cup of coffee you just have a conversation the culture here was a little bit different you're much more focused on not the community part but getting work done at a coffee shop yeah. and so we had a couple ideas we brought it back um, to chicago we started to explore there's lots of different great coffee shops in the city um, we wanted to see if there's something that we could do a little bit different and we started to experiment with coffee roasting so we did air roasting small batch um, and then that kind of expanded from there to a larger roaster to what we have today. I love it. Where do the beans come from? Where do you source them from? Yeah, great question. So yeah. what we have is a couple different regions right now. So we have a Brazilian coffee, a Colombian coffee, Tanzanian, uh, Peruvian, and Honduran right now. 
um, we actually use an importer from Wisconsin um, to bring our beans in, and then we bring them in in uh, different batches. I love it. Uh, talk about the name Four Star Handcrafted Coffee, because I imagine that it's Chicago related. Yeah, so both Griselda and I, being from the city, yes. um, we wanted to have some homage, if you will, back to you know where we're from. Um, and that's where you have the four stars for the Chicago Five. I love it. Um, what has this opportunity, being a part of the Berwyn Shops, um, afforded you? Like, how is it changing your business? Yeah, so m much more awareness, right? So now we get to be part of the community. The focus for us, really, when we got to talk with the BTC about being here, is how do we bring great coffee to this community, uh, making sure that we're affordably priced, we have quality beans, um, and just being able to interact with a different community. Um, so it's been fantastic. The second part, just to kind of call it out, is we have a nonprofit, Beans of Opportunity, um, and so our focus is giving back, right? So we take 10% of net profits from here uh, to support that um, so we can help students and, you know, that are underrepresented. That's such a beautiful uh, additional thing that you're doing with your business. Uh, what is your call to folks? I mean, you're actually one of the first shops that people will yeah. see when they come into uh, this this uh, boardwalk, essentially, is what it is. Um, but what's your call to people to come yeah. check you guys Stop out? Stop in. Um, so really, we want to see you guys come in, talk. We love to talk about coffee. Have a great nitro. Have a, a latte, a specialty coffee that you like to see. Um, explore the other products. So we have some candles, we have other handcrafted goods, but have a conversation, support the business, and then hopefully um, we can see you guys out um, relatively soon. Absolutely. Uh, Chris and Griselda, uh, congratulations on all your success. Uh, come out to the Berwyn Shops. They're actually opening up in just a couple of hours at 11 a.m. today. They're open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday uh, through December. So this oh. is really their seven-month opportunity to see what it's like to have a storefront space. So it's pretty cool. Check it out. Back to you. Oh, yeah. It's really cool, Jack. I mean, you've shown us coffee shops. Now, you said there's a pet shop. We heard about churros, candles. I mean, that's a lot of good stuff in one place. I mean, just about of everything. Exactly, exactly. I love it. And it's so colorful and fun. Jackie, thanks so much for sharing that with us. We appreciate it on a Friday morning here.